Lawson and welcome to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about the link between weight loss surgery and suicide risks, as well as some more tips on how to keep your child safe and natural this Halloween. Researchers from the University of Pittsburgh found that in a 10-year time period, the overall suicide rate for people who had undergone weight loss surgery was 6.6 .6 per 10,000 people. This is startling, considering that the national average is 2.4 per 10,000. With the rise in popularity for these dangerous surgeries, it's scary to think about what you could be doing to your body. Bariatric surgery, as it's technically known, has proven to resolve numerous health conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure, but it can also be a roller coaster ride of emotion for those affected. Overweight people are already in a higher risk classification for depression, but any other reasons for the dramatic rise in suicides is unknown. What they do suggest is that rather than the standard six months of post-surgery observation, that patients are monitored for at least one year so that they can get used to their new habits and lifestyle. This is just one more reason to look at every angle when dealing with your health. In continuing our look at a more natural Halloween, we wanted to bring up a disturbing trend in children's products that contain genetically modified sugar. Parents in Brazil are refusing to feed their children anything with GM sugar, but many American parents are completely in the dark about the whole problem. It turns out that many foods, like Kellogg's cereals and even Hershey's chocolate, may be made with sugar from frankenbeets, which were made to withstand regular applications of a weed killer. The EPA then pushed the allowable residues of glyphosate, the active ingredient in weed killer, to a whopping 5,000% of their previous levels. Like most chemicals found in pesticides and other nature killers, glyphosate can cause cancer and a myriad of other health problems. But the problems don't stop there. It also turns out that two of the parent companies for M&M's and Hershey's purchase much of their cocoa from the Ivory Coast. It has recently come out that these cocoa farms use child labor, giving your children the option to eat candy made under terrible conditions and by their own peers. There are many reasons to keep your child from cramming too much candy in their systems this Halloween, so it may be time to get a little bit stricter on the sweets. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.